It's 8.32 p.m. and all is quiet in the Rose City. But wait, what's this? Teenagers in the street, their arms and feet flailing? Quick, somebody call 911. Now, don't any of you kids watching at home try this, okay? It takes a lean, supple body and consummate gymnastic ability to perform breakdancing acrobatics. Chiropractors should use the opportunity to pass out business cards. Hard though it may be to believe, some people still are oblivious to the historic advent of breakdancing in our culture. Now, these dancers are amateurs, of course. They're the staff of Escape from New York Pizza. But these kids, who call themselves the Midnight Masters, breakdance expertly. For many of them, this kind of organized activity is all they can do to keep their nose clean. I came up here from Los Angeles, and I started by staying out of trouble. That's how it got me out of trouble. For 18-year-old Clark Thompson, breakdancing is a passion. You can see it by the way he uses his body like a finely tuned instrument. Well, I just feel a lot of, you know, rhythm. I let the music get to my head, and when it goes to my head, it just makes the rest of my body function, I guess, you know. Yeah. But like I say, if it ain't no pain, it ain't no gain, you know? <laughs> Simple as that. There were no incidents tonight between the Midnight Masters and the Vitamix Breakers. These kids are professionals of the pavement. Instead of exchanging blows, they'd rather exchange moves. And except for the occasional injury, breaking is good exercise and fun to watch. Perhaps one day it will be an Olympic event. With the Breakdance Gangs of downtown Portland, I'm Mark Mooney, News 8.